rolling. Nice. Okay, so uh, would you like to go back through um, CCIP real quick, just for the video? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so CCIP is um, the jet tells you where the bomb's going to go, and you release the weapon when the cross is on the target. Right, yep. Okay. And then auto is you tell the jet where you want the bomb to go, and it figures out when to let it go. And right. manual is just a reversion mode that we don't worry about. Okay. All right. Next option down in program one is M fuse. It's currently off. Right. So this is the mechanical fuse. So this is what we were talking about now earlier with the physical fuse on the nose and tail of the weapon. Yep. So. Uh, why am I going to have a nose fuse? That's weird. Anyway, so apparently these weapons only have a nose fuse, so we'll just set it to nose. Right. It should have set. a tail fuse as well. Yep. Um, and then next option is E fuse. Electronic fuse. Yep. So uh, we can set between instant and delay one. Right. So this is basically an electronic timer in the weapon that will uh, either blow it up immediately on contact or uh, it will wait a specific time and then blow up. I think DCS hard codes delay one to be 0 0.01 seconds. Okay. So instant it is. Yep. And then drag is FF or free fall because these are slick bombs. They don't have a drag kit on them. Okay, wait, I might have an error here because I don't see drag anywhere. I've just got mode, manual fuse, electronic fuse, no. Yeah, so in the program box. In oh, the sorry, box in, in the, yeah, 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 big button. Yep, got yeah. it. Yeah, and then in the next column over, we've got quantity and malt. So okay, wait, let me, let me see if I can explain this uh, if, if I remember correctly. So quantity is the amount you're going to drop with one press. Mm -hmm. So if you hold down, it's still going to just drop one. Mm -hmm. And multi, well, it's only gonna, uh, mul multiples of one, so that's obvious. But then if you select, I think it was UFC, mm -hmm. uh, you could then set like the quantity to two, mm -hmm. multi of one, and then it'll give you the option and you want to drop them 50 feet apart or something. Is that right? Yeah, correct. So quantity is how many weapons are going to come off the aircraft at once or yep. with one press or one pass. Multiple yep. is how many come off at a time. So you could have four bombs one at a time or four bombs two at a time, Yep. for example. And then, yes, once you set a quantity of greater than one, you can determine the distance apart they are. Okay, so if you're really upset, you can do eight, eight at a time, and there's going to be a, a mess. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, and if you're in manual mode rather than CCIP or auto uh, instead of setting a distance you set a time interval oh okay and uh, yes that distance is in feet on the ground so bang 50 feet later bang yep right very useful for if you're doing something like uh, operation black buck where you've got 20 bombs and you need to have a probability of getting at least one on the target with a single yep. pass. So you choose a bomb distance and an attack angle that will increase the likelihood of getting at least one on target. Right, okay. Cool. Um, only a couple more things you know, on this page to go over. Um, along the bottom row on the left, we've got prob which allows us to cycle through different programs. Okay. So you can pre-set up different delivery programs. So you can have, say, one is CCIP, single bombs, um, instant fuse. Yep. Another one could be an auto, auto delivery with like a four bomb stick um, with delay fuse or whatever you like. Yep. And you can just cycle through those so you don't have to set them all up as you're going. Depends yep. on what your mission is. Um, tone, I don't think it's implemented in DCS, but that would 
transmit a tone over the radio when you pick up the bomb. Right, okay. Um, data, we don't care about. Now, up on the right, gun. Yep. If you box gun, then uh, it will let you use the trigger to shoot the gun as well as dropping bombs. It's known as right. a, a hot gun. Right. Um, it, uh, it impedes a couple of other uh, things that um, we probably won't get to today, yep. but um, it can be useful to uh, uh, if um, you expect to have some soft targets of opportunity during your bomb run. Yep. So you could be diving in, drop the bombs, and then you happen to spy say, a truck or something, or an aircraft sitting on the apron, just quickly give it a squirt as you pull off. Uh, moving down step, cycles through the different stations, the currently selected weapon. Okay, so you can choose. Yeah, so you can choose yep. which station you're currently editing, and also which station uh, you're going to release. Because okay. um, the station that currently has the box around it is the next one to release a weapon. Right, yep. So uh, if the scenario dictates letting go from a specific station, then you can do that. Uh, right. UFC we've talked about, yep. and SIM will uh, impede any weapons delivery, but it will still give all the symbology. Right, okay. So we can leave that alone. And then uh, there's also that big safe right in the middle. Yes. And that's just because master arm and weight on wheels. Right, okay. That's why changing going to armed and safe because we're at weight on wheels is yep. not going to make any difference. Yeah, good. So if you want to box 76 now. Box 76, yep. Then uh, we can go through and set these up as well. All right. So mode will leave the same. Yep. And basically just make sure fuses are set to something other than off. Okay. And instant as well. Yep. Yep. Excellent. And then the uh, best practice is to deselect any weapons before we taxi out until we actually need them once we're in the air. Okay, deselected. Cool. On my uh, right DDI, I've got, I've pressed something and I've got a, looks like radar or something. Yeah. Um, so you would have bumped your castle switch right, which automatically right. shows up the radar. Okay. Um, Just press menu and what's your, what's your usual? So for takeoff and landing, I usually have the HUD repeated on the left DDI. HUD on the left. And then if you select menu again on the right, you can bring on up the right. checklist page. Uh, checklist. Just press it twice. Checklist. Oh, yep. Yeah. And this is useful, uh, not so much for the checklist themselves, but the fact that it gives your current aircraft weight and your current stabilator position which lets you set your takeoff trim very easily. Okay, so 12 degrees nosed up. Mm -hmm. That'll be fine for uh, an airfield takeoff. Okay, and the, the under land wheels flaps, is that, oh, so it, it's just a reading thing for takeoff controls, wings, trim, flaps. Yep. You just manually have to check all those things. It's just, yep. Okay. So for the takeoff checklist, controls, free and correct, Yep. Wings spread and locked, yep. trim set for takeoff, flaps half, hook up, harness is locked, warning lights extinguished, nose wheel in low gain, and ejection seat arm. Okay, so in real life, you probably wouldn't arm the ejection seat when you're inside a. No. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna hurt. You're gonna do a goose. Yes, you you would do a concrete goose. Yep. All right. Excellent. Mm. All right. So, park and break uh, off. Uh, have we set any ground targets? I'll spawn those right now, actually. Uh, okay. I noticed um, we had set up my throttle for that sort of switch on the left side of the left throttle. Mm -hmm. There's that three-way switch. Mine's fully forward now, but I don't believe my formation lights are on. Is that because something's not up here? 
Um, just uh, cycle the switch. Sometimes DCS gets confused. Put the outside. No, uh, they're not coming on. Stuff something up there. Is the uh, dimmer switch all the way up? Is that down on the left somewhere? Yep. Looking, looking, snow bar. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's all the way down. So all the way there to the go. right. There you go. Now yeah. you Christmas tree. I'm lit up. Nice. Okay. Then you also got Jesus beams. Uh, Jesus beams. I do. There you go. All right. Uh, parking brake released. And I'll follow you. Is that all right? Okay. An accurate speed shown on. Oh, that's the problem. So to get to get your accurate speed on the ground, you need that uh, HSR, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, but we're not too worried about that now. Mm -hmm. Rule of thumb basically is no faster than you could jog. See, this is where I get worried. I've pressed something in my uh, a key. What's the name of the control with the keypad? The calculator in front? Oh, it's all gone off now. Uh, the um, upfront controller. UFC. Yeah, is that, is that UFC? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mine lit up then. I don't know what I bumped. Do you use high gain nose wheels, nose wheels steering here, or? Not really. Okay, cool. So because I'm, I've started using the nose wheel, once you've got your that, that vector thing in the middle of the runway, 
Do you disable nose wheel steering then? So you disable nose wheel steering as you pass about 60 knots. Okay. That's when the rudder starts to become effective. Right. Cool. So brakes on, run up to 80%. Are you on your foot brake or park, uh, parking or parking brake? Toe brakes. Toe brakes. Yep. And once you're at eighty percent, you call two. Two. And then cadence will be brakes off in three, two, one, brakes. And yep. on brakes, you release the brakes and push it up to full arc banner. Okay. Brakes off in three, two, one brakes I came out of the burner, so I'm passing you. That's right. Oh, but I'll maintain the setting. What speed? What's our target speed? About uh, 400 knots. Up to 400. struggle with speed. Sorry, I put my throttles to idle just then. Okay. Go. I'm all over the place. I'm up high on your right. Would you like to take lead instead? Uh, no, I need to work this out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try to get back to you. So if you ever lose sight of me, yep. then break away uh, to the side that you're on. So if you're on my right, break away to the right and call right. safety right. Uh, okay. smoke every now and again I'm sure there's nothing to worry about <laughs> that's because you're going slightly into afterburn and the back out again okay so uh, you'll uh, probably have to tweak your um, uh, throttle curves to make DCS match um, where your physical detent is okay hello hello, hello. Is that a Raz? It's a Raz. Who it doesn't is. have to work a fucking overnight tonight? About <laughs> fucking time, mate. So how's I'm work? working. Uh, it's not bad. I um, day one orientation day, I left work with uh, full coverage health insurance and a twenty thousand dollar life insurance policy. Fucking sick. Yeah. Also, um, they have a thing called, they call it the David Award, mm -hmm. where come and go, the gas station will match you, um, and or depending on, like, you know, situationally, they'll work with you to help you achieve a lifelong goal of yours. Hell yeah. And that's how you in got the case, flight school scholarship. In my case, that will be going to flight school. Sick. Hey, right, leveling off now. I'm doing, um, I'm running a hump yard right now, so I will be on it a bit. I got Just a mile that. and a half intermodal train I have to break into three locals. Oof. Uh, that's why I'm using the hump yard, it's not bad. I'm literally just backing the train up, and as they go over this little hill, they break apart and get sorted onto specific tracks. 
<laughs> nice. All I have to do, yeah, all I have to do is make sure the train is staying at a consistent two miles an hour. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, and I have taking Santa through uh, manual, or rather, uh, unguided bombs in the Hornet. Nice. We're gonna kill something. <laughs> uh, with uh, unguided, smart thing to do is take your INS, throw it into GPS. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Your uh, no, that uh, your HSI. Turn your HSI to GPS. You mean true heading? No, there's a setting. Oh, I can't remember how to go to it without yeah, looking at it. I've just done it. If you're the HSI, you press that pause INS, and then it gives you the GPS option. Yep, there you go. And it's uh, it makes your CCIP a little more accurate. Huh. Yeah, yeah that was that bug I was talking about. Okay. I've never it's heard actually of this not bug. a bug. Oh. It's, it's actually not a bug. It's the real thing of the Hornet. Makes sense, I suppose. Okay. Yep, it, uh, INS it, is it, just it, accelerometers and gyros, so... Yep, yep, and the GPS is usually your actual location, and it makes your HSI a lot more accurate, too. Yeah. I can't believe I'm staying so close to here. <laughs> and now I've messed it up by saying that. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm coming in. It's alright. Hmm. Alright, we're backing up now. Sorry, the, the longest part of this was getting the train into the hump yard. Coming left now. So if you want to loosen up the formation a bit, Santa, so you can uh, look around at other things. Yep. We're uh, getting close to the targets now. Okay, so I'll pull away from you a bit? Yep, just uh, open up the range a bit so you don't have to spend all your brain power just looking at me. Yep. Is that fine there? Yep, that should do. And if you look pretty much straight through me at the coast, you should see the axe runway. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Yep. Rolling out now. So, if you uh, bring up your stores page and go into air ground mode, well, if you can hit air ground mode, it should uh, bring everything up anyway. The ground, yeah. Yep. And then uh, select whichever weapon you want. Yep. 82B. Yep. So now on the HUD, you should see the bomb fall line coming out yep. at the bottom of your velocity vector. Got it. CCIP on the right. Yep. yep. So that horizontal line on the bomb fall line is known as the mirror line. So it tells you how far below the HUD the actual impact cross is. So if you can imagine the bottom of the HUD was a mirror, um, the uh, mirror line from the bottom of the HUD further down is how far underneath the HUD the uh, actual impact cross is. So when, as we're in our dive, that uh, mirror line will descend, and once it reaches the bottom of the HUD, the true impact point will appear. Okay. Bounces up, yep. Yeah. And then uh, the uh, other little canted lines just below that is the pull up cue. Um, yeah. When that goes above the velocity vector, you'll get a big flashing X in the HUD, which is telling you you better start pulling up now or you will either impact the ground or frag yourself with your own weapons. Yeah, I'll listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> So, once we find the targets, uh, just uh, coming gently left. Oh, I want to say one note on that when you're saying the cross to wave off. Yeah. Um, you'll still get the same cross even if you're carrying retarded weapons. Mm -hmm. So, at times, you can ignore that cross. Yeah. But we've only got three full weapons, so 
Which is a good thing to know for other times. Yeah. Cool. So, Santa, once we've found our targets, now we're going to fly to approach them with the target off our 10 o'clock. Yep. And it's going to... We're going to wait until the target point just is about to go below the canopy rail. Yep. So... The point where the canopy bow meets the rail, that little corner. Yep. We, we want to fly to put the target point right there, and that's when we roll in and start our dive. Okay. And the dive will be between 15 and 25 degrees. At, uh, and uh, close to idle power, because we won't need power in the dive. And we'll aim to have weapons on weapons release at about 2,000 feet if we can okay. and you'll want to place the velocity vector um, a few hundred feet past the target and okay. let the uh, let the impact cross walk its way up to the target right yep because any acceleration you have on the jet at weapons release will throw the bomb in a random direction and make it things less accurate. Okay. So if you like, I can roll in first. Yep. And sort of uh, mark the target area for you. Is it these rows of vehicles that I can see on the left of our nine o'clock or? Yep. Oh, okay. So if you want to follow me in trail. Speed? Speed is 322 currently. Three, two, Idle two. power, rolling in, sending. Where are you? Uh, Altitude. Altitude. You know what? Well, I don't know if I've done this right, but yeah. I'm going for. <laughs> Oh, you're being shot at? Yep. Oh, no, I've lost sight of my... There we go. Alright. Oh, I hit something. Uh, did I? Yep, and sure. you're getting shot at. Okay, excellent. And I've lost sight of you. I'll see you up there. So yep. you're climbing. Climbing like crazy? Yep. After banner? Nope, just mill. Okay. Okay, I think I went for the wrong targets. I went for the rows of things. Yeah, yeah. I, That's I what didn't I was go for. going for. I, uh, I didn't realize those tanks were still alive. So we can go for those if you like. Yeah, yeah. They seem like more of an issue. Shit. Alright. Unguided weapons. This would be interesting. Now that Santa's flying fixed wing, we're going to have to play a game of hot their ass. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> So if you climb up to about eight or nine thousand feet, that's generally uh, about as low as you want to be for uh, okay, starting leveling a bomb run. Yep. Not feet. Are you feet wet right now? Am I what, sorry? Feet wet over the water? Uh, no, I'm off to your... I think I'm off to your three o uh, nine o'clock. Looking. Yeah, I should be off to your nine. If you're, are you going up the coast now? I'm watching you. Or am I not looking at you? Ah, you're directly behind me. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was trying to follow. Yep, it's all good. All right. And whereabouts on that cross are the tanks? Did you see where they were? So, uh, do you see the runway that's uh, directly perpendicular to us? Yep. They're about one fifth of the way down from our end. Okay. see something dark yeah yeah, yeah. exactly okay. all right okay. let's see how uh, see how accurate so I can be they're right by the crossing is that right yep yeah okay got it
rolling in. Idle power. Out. I'm rolling in. Can't be. Altitude. Altitude. Pickle. Oh, you killed them all. Woo! I'll see if it's difficult to make sure as well. Oh, oh right in the middle. Very nice. Yeah, 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 that worked out pretty well. And I've lost sight of you. Uh, now I've got you. I'm to the right. Hide to the south. Good. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm getting slow. 170. <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling about uh, CCIP? Pretty awesome. That was pretty good. Yeah. Would you like to try uh, auto? Yep. So auto takes a bit more uh, setup. Okay. So uh, if we go to mode auto. Oh, should do this while you're flying. Okay. Mode auto. Yep. Yep. So now uh, the aircraft will expect a target point, basically a waypoint. Yep. Um, and then we'll fly to put the weapons on that point okay. but we don't currently have one no. so there are several ways to go about getting one now you can use a waypoint to designate uh, but uh, none of our waypoints are in a good place for that right you can use a targeting pod but we don't have one nice now you can get coordinates from a JTAC or another player or a briefing and punch yep. those in for a manual waypoint but that takes time and that is a massive headache. Right. Or we can just use the HUD. HUD. Or, my personal favorite, you could still use the HMD. Yeah. Right. Okay. HUD or HMD. Yep. Just so, if you go uh, castle switch up. Castle switch up. Oh, yeah. I've got like a rose at the bottom. Mm hmm. Yep. So, this is known as the ball and chain. Okay. So. That Pippa reticle down there yep. is the designation point. Right. Um, so, and it hangs below the velocity vector so that we don't have to dive straight at the target right. uh, to designate it. But um, we can. So, if you push your nose down a bit, you'll notice uh, the rose stays about where it is and the velocity vector gets closer to it. Yep. If you push the velocity vector into the rows, um, it'll get captured and then basically stick to the velocity vector. Right. So, essentially what uh, you're going to do is you're going to fly to place that rose in the middle of the runway or at one of the ends. I'm going to yep. let you choose. And okay. then when it's over the point you want, you're going to TDC depress. So that little mouse thing on your right throttle grip, you're going to yep. click that in. Right, I hope I've got the right one. Is that the the thumb switch, the bottom? Ah, shit, I'm worried. Um, so, the little mini stick on the front of the throttle, where your middle finger rests? Oh, front of the throttle, yeah, yeah, yep. Yep, so clicking that in will designate the point under the pipper as your target point. And okay, if so you have your HMD turned on, you can just look at the point that you want to designate. Right, that sounds pretty easy. Right, so wait, let me just get this right. So I'm going to turn towards whatever I want to shoot at. Yep. Uh, can we pick that that group of trucks, or do, are we going for something on the runway, middle of the runway? Um, I can't see the groups of trucks, but if you can, go for it. Uh, okay, let's make it easier so you can see what I'm going for. So I'll go uh, center of the runway. Okay. So I'm going to... Well, I'm flying past here. Um, so I'm going to... 
put the row the the circle thing on there and then nose down to get my velocity vector into that rose um, you don't have to if oh. you can get the rose where you want it uh, without oh. pushing down into it then that's just fine okay. uh, but if uh, you feel like it will be more accurate to put the velocity vector into it then by all means it just means that uh, you will be descending um, whilst yeah. doing that Okay, so it's the it's the circle. There's there's the the chain going down to the the middle point of the rows. It's that middle point. I need to aim at the target and then, uh, root finger press on that little nipple thing. Correct. And that should designate. Is that right? Correct. Okay. TDC okay. depress is the name for that control. All right. I'm trying to turn in now. Copy. Is speed not a factor, or it just makes it easier the slower you go? Um, comfortable speed. About uh, 400 knots generally. Okay. Uh, shit, my thing's locked itself inside there. There's no problem. Uh, okay, I, I did it. I've got a line going up and down. Yep. And there should be a, a dashed diamond in the middle of the runway. It is, but it, the line doesn't seem to be over the runway. So where is the diamond? The diamond's going up and down the line, it's about three quarters down, but it's nowhere near the runway. So, push down till the diamond's in the middle of the HUD? Yep. And where is it? It's at the end of the runway, I must have pushed okay. to the wrong spot. That's fine, pull off, and we'll come around again. Can you redesignate if you've got it wrong? You can redesignate, or you can use the TDC slew to move the diamond around. Okay. Um, but uh, we'll just go with uh, with what we've got so far. Yep. So that vertical line on your HUD, yep. it uh, it's probably disappeared now. No, I've still got it. Yeah. So that is known as your azimuth steering line. Right. So now that line is going to give you steering cues to get you flying directly at that point. So what we're going to do is you're going to climb up to about 9,000 feet again. Yep. Up and to uh, you should have a uh, about a 5.0 TGT on the bottom right of your HUD. Uh, sorry, I'm looking TGT 50, 49, 46, 44. <laughs> okay. So that's I've 20, 15, 12. 11, 10, so I'm pressing the wrong spot, haven't I? So, in the bottom right corner of your HUD. Bottom right, yep. 10 TGT, 11 TGT, 12. Yep, okay, that's good. So, so turn back towards the target? Yep, so nice gentle turn to the left. So that, uh, in the bottom right there, is your distance from the target in, the, in nautical miles. Right. Strangely, it's getting smaller, but I feel like I'm flying away from it. Oh, no. Is it uh, getting smaller? It's going 12.1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 10. It's moving all over the place. 10, so 9. Is it directly to the right of the velocity vector, or is it below that? Right, let me straighten and tell you what I'm seeing. So, uh, velocity, velocity vector I've got on the horizon at the moment, so I'm straight and level. Yeah. Uh, I've got a vertical line going up and down through my screen, mm -hmm. uh, which is now on the velocity vector. So it's r my, my, that, what was that line going up and down called? Azimuth steering line. Azimuth steering line's uh, right on my velocity vector ahead of me now. My TGT is 7.7 .7 and staying there, 7.7. .7. Do me a favor, I'm going to yep. uh, adjust controls. Adjust controls, escape. Just controls, yep. Access commands. Access, yep. Scroll down to throttle designator controller, vertical and horizontal axis. Uh, yes, I see them. And go to access tune and add a little dead zone. About six should do. Uh, on both of them? Yep. yep. So I oh, think wow, I've got a massive curve of 30 on them. Yep, that'll be oh. fine. Uh, dead zone of Hummer. I've got a dead zone of six at the moment. Okay. Already? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Uh, on both. Yeah. I think what might have happened is you bumped the TDC to the side as you clicked it, and that 
probably shot the diamond off in some random direction. Okay. So, once you're uh, back out of the menu, hit yes. the nose wheel steering button for me. Nose wheel steering, I'm trying to find it. Yes. Yep, so you should have the ball and chain back now. I do, yep. Yeah, so that's undesignated, that target point. So if right, you turn okay. to the left, and we'll try it again. Right. So when you TTC depress to designate the point, it's just a click and then take your finger completely off it. Okay. And then just confirming again, so on my on my right, on my throttle hand, I've got uh, on my pointer finger, there's there seems to be a hat switch. Mm -hmm. And then on my middle finger, there's a hat switch. Yeah. And then my finger's touching a button on the left hand throttle. Yep. Yeah, so your middle finger on that little mouse nipple thing yep, is what yep, got we're going to click in. Okay. Makes you a bit lost now. I think I've gone very far away. Yeah, yep. keep the turn coming. Roll out Sorry, about there. Yep. Go. Heading back towards the targets. Somehow my velocity vector got locked inside the. Uh, rose. Yep, that's how it behaves. Okay. Your cage uncage switch with nothing represented, like no target waypoint or anything like that, will adjust your um, velocity vector to show you drift, like if there's a crosswind, and if you cage it so it's in the center, you'll get a little. Um, crosshair looking thing that'll show you true velocity. Okay, yeah. Is that when the whole thing moves off to one side of the screen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that'll be when it's uncaged, yes. Okay. Is that you off to the off to my nine o'clock but far away or no? Nope. I'm coming up on your deep four right now. Oh yeah, gotcha. See the runway down there yet? I do not. Hang on. Should it be off to our. So it's just to the left of the HUD. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I see it. Yep. So can I turn onto it now? Yep. And we should be able to just fly level and fly the rose over the top of it. Yeah, because my rose is just going over the coast now. Yep. Fact. Okay, I'm about. Oh. oh no, I put my nose down and I can't get the rose to go down. So fly the fly the velocity vector into the rose and it'll capture, and then you can put it wherever you want. Captured and press. Cool. Yeah. So you should see a diamond in the middle of the runway with the line coming down I through it. I see it. With about five miles to go. So cool. Hold. So Altitude. now we won't Altitude. release on this pass. So if you level okay. off, level off. So auto release um, is designed to be used when flying level. Yep. So and at high altitude. Yeah. So if you fly to place the velocity vector directly over that line. Oh, I've got a line coming down the screen now. Yep, that's the release okay. cue. Uh, so okay. yep. if you are holding the pickle button. Yep. As that line comes through the velocity vector, weapons would release. Right, okay, got so it. So if you make a climbing turn off to the left again, and we'll come around for another pass. Yep. So you're going to fly the jet so that you're level with the velocity vector directly in the middle of that vertical azimuth steering line. Yep. And that'll put us directly on course for the target. Right. And then. Now, just to the right of it, where it currently says auto, yep. you'll get a uh, release counter, which is counted down the seconds until release. Yep. 
as that reaches five seconds, you'll start holding the pickle button. And then you'll hold it until all the weapons have been released. And okay. you need to do something with your throttles because currently your right engine is at a different power setting than your left. Now that's probably why I remember I was saying I feel, I feel like I'm yawing a bit. Mm -hmm. So if you look down at your engine indication indicator below your left screen, yep. what are the top row numbers? 87 and 89. Wow, it should be that. That's like average. Yeah, that that's perfect. But I'm seeing your left turkey feathers are narrow, your right turkey feathers are wide open. So um, the numbers uh, below is one uh, six nine two and seven one six. They're quite different. Yeah, and so you've got three numbers and then a gauge. What are those gauges at? It's at full, whatever that is. Okay. Uh, I can't see the number properly, but it looks like the indicator is full. Okay. So that's probably just a, a DCS desync thing. Yeah. So your engines should be um, operating the same. Okay. So I'm going to type my turn of it and start uh, heading in. No. No, you can keep okay. it nice and loose. Right. Just remember, the farther out you are when you turn in, the more room you'll have to make adjustments and yeah. be more accurate. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, the asthma steering line will be a lot softer uh, far away right uh, and in close it gets much more sensitive okay and another good note you're doing 350 knots you can yep. cross 10 miles in about 20 seconds okay yeah so within about three miles you do not want to be making major corrections so if at about five miles the asthma steering line still isn't um, within the velocity vector itself, yep. break off and try again. Okay. Within three miles, if it's not within the circle of the velocity vector, break off and try again. All right. Or just continue and accept uh, being off by that much, if indeed the attack can, can warrant that. Okay. All right, I'll start my turn in now. Yep. It's 13 miles away now. In. We're, We're gonna have to ask Hunter to give you a Hornet instructor tag, Scarlet. Huh. I mean, remember who taught you? <laughs> I just learned, you taught me the basics. I had to learn all the advanced shit myself. <laughs> this is true. Because <laughs> you were gone. <laughs> I was gone learning how to fly real planes. <laughs> I could probably teach the Hornet and the Apache and the F5 pretty easily. I've uh, got quite some competition for the F5. <laughs> yeah, because it seems like everyone flies the bloody thing. It's fantastic as a damn good salesman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for the Hun, though. Mm. I had a substitute teacher in grade school who used to fly them. And he told me a bunch of stories. So remember, fly level, you're currently descending. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my marker is just off the runway, so I expect it to be a little bit left. Yep, that's fine. Now, do know that bomb is going to drop into your path of flight. So if you see that that line is two degrees to the right, you can fly two degrees to the left of that line and maybe score a hit. Mm. Okay. You know but what I'm saying? For now, we'll just fly directly on the line. Yeah, that, that comes with experience. Yeah. So when do I hold the pickle button? At about five seconds to go. So you see underneath auto, you've got about 30 seconds to release. Yes. Yep. Once that hits about five seconds, then we start holding the button. You'll yep. also get your shoot cue moving down the line. Yeah. At about okay. five seconds. And when you see that shoot cue, press and hold. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Scarlet, I'll quit stepping on your lessons here. Yeah, it's all good. 15 Sorry, seconds. Gets a bit more sensitive the closer you get. Exactly. 8, 7, 6, 5, holding. holding. 
Weapon okay. away. Flashing light. Pull away or d don't worry about it. Yep. Turn away. I want to watch. I'm going to bend back to the left and look over my side. Yep. Or press tab six, yeah. Yep. Yep. Good. So you can stand the jet on its wing to have a look. There they go. There they go. Oh. Kaboom! Very nice. So, quite a few landed there. Did, were those yours off onto the road? So, the one right near the runway was mine. The two on the road okay. were yours. Oh, gosh. I was nowhere near it then. Uh, uh, I was looking where you were going and you hit exactly what you were shooting at. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, very nice. So, that's you out of Splodies. Yep. You've got uh, 12 practice bombs left if you want to keep doing those for accuracy purposes yeah let's try that uh so let's okay how Seven. about Seven. yep how about i drop one and yep. you try to hit it okay so watch where your where yours hits yep so now it'll uh, let off a little smoke charge that'll last about two minutes okay so if you keep that orbit i'll break off and go plug yep. one in somewhere and see how close you can get with it and, and it's going to be somewhere within the airfield, eh? that area? Yep, somewhere yep. within the thresholds of the runway. Okay, I, I'm not sure which uh, weapon I've got selected because nothing's boxed. I've got 76 and 82B. Is it the 76? So box is 76, yeah. 76 box. And uh, I'm CC, uh, CCIP, is that cool? Yep. Whatever right. method you want, man. Yep. Altitude. All right, I'm watching Altitude. you. Altitude. Pickle. Right where it was gonna go. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Possibly near the intersection of the runways. You do also know CCRP and CCIP won't compensate for winds. Yeah. So there's a little smoke charge right in the middle of the runway. All right. Is it near the intersection? Because I'm battling to see. I, I'm yep. not seeing anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, it's impossible to see from this far out, but uh, basically roll in on the middle of the runway and you should see it fairly soon. All right. Okay. I'm looking, I'm looking for smoke. I'm not seeing any smoke, I'm getting close. <laughs> That's alright, just hit the center of the runway in that case. Okay, center of the runway. Altitude, altitude. Weapons away. Cool. Boom, right in the middle. Very nice. Oh, so that was good. I still don't see your smoke though. Oosh. So uh, it turns out their uh, smoke charges are a lot smaller and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can see mine. Yeah. They uh, yeah, they last for about five seconds, not oh, two right. minutes. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I'll try I that think, again. I uh, think I think next time uh, yep. when we come out with uh, different weapons, I'll uh, load up with some smoke rockets. They last right. a lot longer. Actually, I should be using my blue smoke thing. Oh, yeah. How do I switch that on? <laughs> um, I have no freaking clue. <laughs> okay, I then. think okay. if you select sidewinders and then pull the trigger, it should set the smoke off. Okay. I've got smoke device on off. There's an option here. Yeah. Uh, keyboard. I'm setting it to Altitude. S for now. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, S. Have I got Red smoke? smoke. Excellent. And you're very, very slow. Push the throttle up. Yeah, got it. He's used to having it, this throttle down low for the Apache's collective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, you shot right past me. Yeah, okay, wait. Okay. Well, if okay. we're not moving forward, we fall, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like a shark. Must keep swimming. Yeah. Must keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep Precisely. swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? What do we do? We, do? we, do? we, do? we, do? we drop bombs. 
stuck in my left hand, 180. Yeah. A bit low, so I'm also going to climb a bit. Oh, I see. You, uh, you've taken a smoke pod, not a uh, smoke charge on a wing tip. Oh. Yeah, so you've got like a blue angel smoke. Nice! There's vehicles in front of me. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try hit them. Oh, okay. these are training bombs. They're not gonna do much, are they? Yeah, <laughs> hit them anyway. Okay. You could always switch to guns, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We can do CCIP guns. But while you guys are still out, yeah. yeah. There is a way to change the range on the gun sight, but I can't exactly remember how. Uh, the. Uh, Hornet's guns are uh, sighted to 0.8 miles. Altitude. Altitude. Oh, go on, see if I'm hitting anything. Whew. I get you the burn. Nice. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> um. Yeah. That. Holy crap, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> I thought I hit them all. <laughs> yes, you did. I there is a smoke bang, charge bang, bang. next to every single one of those jeeps. Nice. Oh <laughs> yeah. God damn. Okay. If I got anything left, uh, yes. All right. I'll do the other row. There's another row over there. Yeah. Halfway through pumping this train. <laughs> Sounds terrible, I know, but it's a legitimate thing. Would you guys fly back to base and land? If you want to watch, you totally can. Excellent. Yeah. I just forgot. Okay. Um, also, if you're not doing anything, Santa, yeah, nifty I little did. bit yeah. of information. On yeah. the top right corner of your lower, so your heads up display is two separate pieces of glass, and yep. the one closest to you is broken up into, into two pieces itself, right? So on the right side, by the top of the right HUD frame, you'll see a little circle with a dot, and then on the back one is a little circle with a crosshair. Yep. So if in the event you lose, I think it's your left Altitude. engine is electronics. Altitude. No, your right engine is electronics. Yep. Um, and your HUD goes out, you can position your head to line those two circles up and get that dot in the center of your crosshair. And that is both a manual gun sight like a physical gun sight, as well as direct dead forward of the aircraft. Oh, right, yep. So if you lose that, uh, your velocity vector, that's how you tell where you're pointed. And if okay. you, I, sometimes I find using that, um, that, um, physical gun sight is a little more accurate than the CCIP gun sight. You can kind of play with the range a little bit there, too. Okay. Uh, I notice if I look through one eye or the other, it's completely different. Do you know which eye is the right one to close and look through? The right eye. Whichever, whichever right. eye is looking through it. Because if you put the left side of your head looking through it, looking through your left eye, then it's still straight. You know what uh, I mean? It's like looking down iron sights, pretty much. Yep. But that's All what right. it is, is an iron bore sight, in a sense. Right. <laughs> Without the altitude call, <laughs> my line doesn't seem to be. Oh, there it goes down. All right, come on, go down. I'm getting low. So it looks like you uh, need a steeper dive angle. Right. Good spread, though. Did we hit anything? Yep. I really hope they go through and they give us the, uh, the D lock 20. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be so good. For real. So, would you like to do uh, edit ground guns now? Yes. So, if you just box gun. Boxing gun. Yep. So you've got a uh, gun pipper I do, with yep. the uh, 
a little line sticking in towards the middle. Uh, my velocity vector Altitude. right over it. Uh, so it around the inside of. Hey, shit! What's that? <laughs> that nearly clouded. <laughs> ah. Holy shit! Oh, that was okay. close. <laughs> okay. Now that I'm uh, doing a safer rejoin. Altitude. Altitude. So. That was on in the flight beam. The circle of the gun cover has a little stick pointing towards the middle of it. Yeah, I've got something wrong because I'm, I'm not. Uh, in my heads up display, I've got a rose with a dot in the middle. Ah, okay. So um, you're not pointing down towards the ground, so the gun cover isn't showing. Ah, uh, I, see. I see it. Yep, okay. Yep. I'll back up again. Yep. So as you get closer to the target, um, yep. the uh, outer circle will unwind. Okay. Um, and that's your uh, basically your range indicator. Um, right. There is a specific uh, way to read it. I don't know how, but basically, once it unwinds, you'll get an in-range cue, and that once you get that in-range cue, the pipper is now accurate, and yep. you can pull the trigger, and the bullets will go where the dot is. Right. Okay. So that sounds easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> so if we climb back up to about ten thousand. Up to ten. Yeah. The steeper your angle, the more accurate it will be. Yeah, but the harder it is to track a moving target. Right. Precisely. I hate how my right screen keeps dipping in its brightness. That's really oh. weird. When you say climb, is there a is there a certain amount of degrees you want to climb at, or is because I, I feel maybe I go too slow. Um. Yeah, generally, um, an expedited non-combat climb will be mill power, uh, yep. which will generally be between ten and fifteen degrees. Okay. Sorry, um, I wouldn't go any more than fifteen degree climb without without the cans. Well, okay. yeah, so basically the idea is mill power, and then however steep the climb has to be to maintain airspeed. Alright. Yeah, uh, which okay. will tend to be 10 to 15 degrees. Alright, um, left, left cruise 180. climb uh, will be anything up to 5 degrees, which uh, is yeah. a nice easy climb for a formation to hold. Okay. I think you're around me somewhere, but this yeah. sort of turn turn is fine, or am yeah. I still too slow? Yeah. That's fine. I've got an arrow pointing to my right with 30, 31, 32. So that's that pointing to your currently designated uh, target point, and the okay. number is telling you the number of degrees off the HUD. Okay. Um, but we don't need that one anymore, so just hit your initial steering switch to get rid of it. Done. Thanks. So it's nose wheel steering and undesignate. So right. um, it removes a designated target point or breaks a radar lock. Right. So basically on, th on this one, when we get within a certain range, we'll start uh, nose down, get the pipa on the target. So the Wait. delivery method will be the exact same as CCIP bombs. Yep. So basically carry the target at your 10 o'clock, roll in once it's about to go below the canopy rail. Yep. 15 to 25 degree dive. Okay. So now this your engines heading. have swapped. Now the left one's wide open. Oh, there we go. No, it's just a DCS thing. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying. I was seeing smoke coming out of you, and you were saying it was my afterburner, but I was seeing the smoke coming out of you, so oh, okay. it must be a bit of an issue there. Mm. But the Hornet, just in general, has a um, 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 efficiency thing. It has a really dirty burn at mill power. Yeah. If you're flying really fast, it, do, it doesn't. it's not like a MiG-29 type of dirty burn. You know, we don't, well, the Americans don't put water in their fuel. 
but um, at higher um, RPMs, there's something to do with the condensation in the um, exhaust or something like that. I don't exactly remember what the science yeah. behind it is. But in uh, max power, it has a very dirty burn. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably to do with the fact that um, it's got a uh, a static intake rather than a moving one, like other aircraft do. Okay, so again, so once I see it in my where the canopy joins with the body, mm -hmm. just next to my caution jet thing. Uh, so behind it, behind that. So. Oh, all right. Okay, so it's about yeah. forty-five off my yeah. Yeah. So it's it's about thirty degrees. Okay. At that. And line. then it's it's a hard bank left, nearly upside down. Yep. Over bank it. Yeah. Pull into the target. Put your velocity vector a couple hundred feet past the target. Yep. and the pipper will climb to catch up. Oh, okay. So that yeah. procedure, kind of, flying 45 degrees and rolling into target is standard bombing procedure for all aircraft. It's just the Hornet gives you a pipper of where your bomb will land. Yeah, Okay. so this would be the same procedure if we were flying the F-5 with a manual gun sight. Okay. Um, it, uh, flying the procedure like this makes the delivery a lot more predictable, a lot less violent, and with yep. a lot less negative Gs. And a lot more consistent too. Exactly. Okay, so this group of trucks, uh, I can see them. They're they're a bit off to the left. They're kind of uh, the extended runway line. Mm -hmm. of, uh, okay, I'm just yeah. gonna go for that one. Go for it, and I'll follow. Uh, it's about to be there. All right, uh, here we go. Oh no, I've changed my gun, bugger. I've pressed that bloody button, yeah. so I'm going to pull out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I can spot them and uh, give them a hosing. Alright, I'm going to try fix... What have I done here? I've yeah, gone down here. Yeah, 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 I've got a... Bugger. Altitude. Okay, I've got to get Altitude. my finger away from that button. Yeah, yeah, you got to learn to uh, not uh, hit that button. The, um, the Hornet stick itself is actually kind of nice. Uh, because um, it has a bit of a frame uh, in front of that switch where you can rest your thumb. So you sort of have to come down off a step to get to the switch itself All rather right. than resting your thumb on the switch. Yep. Um, maybe grip it below that switch if you can, if that's comfortable. Yeah, it's feeling a bit weird. Mm. Um, <laughs> in that case, maybe uh, sort of hold your finger, hold your thumb sort of on the side of the head. So rather yep. with the pad of your thumb, using the side of your thumb? Yep. Yeah. So it's away from everything. Sounds like you need a 3D printer toggle cover. Oh! <laughs> he has a 3D printer, he just printed himself yeah. up in a D10. Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so th is, there a, is there a map for that? Is there, sorry, a, a plan for... I have I no, no I was, clue. I was, I was trying to make a funny, dude. I have no fucking idea. I didn't uh, know you actually had a 3D printer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> check Thingiverse and the forums. Someone's probably made a warthog um, cover. What I'm not sure if they would have made a cover for that switch, because that's normally countermeasures in the A10. Uh, but look into it. Yeah, talk to um, talk to Wiz in the in this VRAF. He does a lot of 3D print. He's actually uh, 3D printing a stick blueprint because he wants to make an affordable. Warthog equivalent hotas. He's going to fail, oh. but power to the guy. Right, but I mean, I'm not upset with trying, uh, you know, beta testing a new hotas. Yeah. But anyways, he's he's got good designs and plans and stuff. So talk to him. Maybe he can help you come up with a good blueprint or something. And who knows? Maybe if you make that and other people have this issue, you might make some like, you know, get a lot of downloads on that plan or something. Yeah. That is a very steep dive. Guns yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble here. And oh, that uh, was very, very close. Yep. Shit. Twenty-five degree dive is about as much as you Altitude. want. Altitude. Altitude. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not quite understanding that dot. Then hang on, because I need to. I need to point. I need to point down pretty far. So, am I turning in too late? Maybe. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. 
8,000 feet should be fine this time to try again. Yep. Deedle deedle, I'm healed. Bingo. 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 3,000. Four zero six, copy bingo. <laughs> yeah, it's more joker at this point. It'll take us like three minutes to get home. Copy four oh six. Quit joking. Get home. <laughs> Oh, sorry to have blowed your Facebook up this morning. I didn't realize you actually get like a message <laughs> ping when I change the games and shit. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't mean to fucking blow you up. I, didn't, I mean, I, I didn't don't get know. notifications from Facebook, so I only okay. see it when I open the page, so it's fine. Gotcha. That looks like a more sensible dive angle. Yeah, but I'm not seeing the, the counter. Uh, I've, I've, I'm not seeing the ready thing ever come up. Oh, yeah, that's why not. Because you're still too far away. Okay. It's very short range gun sight on this aircraft. Uh, there Altitude. you go. Altitude. Oh, yeah. Damage something. I was going to say, I really hate how short range the Hornet's gun sight is. Yeah. But then I think about how the A-10's gun sight is ranged out to like two and a half miles. And I think about how General Electric, the people who made that gun, count a hit anywhere within 20 yards of the target. Because you're lobbing grenades at them. <laughs> no, th this is in terms of referencing its armor-piercing capability upon tanks. Uh, what? Yeah. This is, this is verifying the GAU-8 <laughs> as a tank buster. It is not. Um, I'd say the logic behind that is you're throwing so much shit at the wall. If, on average, the shit hits within 20 feet, some of it's gonna hit. But, yeah, but that's the thing, right? Everybody's like, oh, a 30 millimeter just cracks tanks in half like sardines. No. General Electric ran a test with 10 Altitude. targets on the range, giving Altitude. pilots full range to do whatever the fuck they needed. Each pilot chose to do a 100 bullet burst on all 10 targets. Out of the thousand rounds fired per pilot, only one round per tank hit. So out of 1,000 rounds, 10 hit their targets. Only one of those rounds was capable of penetrating through the tank. And that was from a rear aspect shot. What tanks were these? T-72s. Okay, that's horrendous. Yeah. Because that's the exact tank that yeah. thing was designed to kill. Uh huh. Now in Iraq, it had great success. You know why? Shit tanks. Because the Republican Guard had two fifty fives. Well, there you go. Shit tanks. <laughs> so the Gao Eight is actually not um um a tank buster. So now it's mostly used in a close air support role against infantry. And infantry actually hate it. Again, in a close, danger close situation where the GAU 8 is preferred, the GAU 8 is considered accurate with a round impacting anywhere within 20 yards of where the pilot's aim point was. Altitude. 20 yards? Okay. Altitude. I said 20 feet before. No, I said 20 yards the first time. Oh, maybe I misheard you. That is fucking terrible. Terrible. The A-10 is actually more cause of friendly casualties than any other close air support aircraft in the U.S. Air Force arsenal. It is talk. It's it, not toxic, but 90% of the A-10's effective combat capability comes from Mavericks. Yeah. I believe I'm pretty much Winchester. Yep, so am I. Cool. I've we, got uh, if you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six cars left on this hump, and then the server will be saved, and I will come back at this when these cars have been serviced and return to the de uh, depot, the, the, the departure yard. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I found one of the devs. Uh, I went in the Facebook group and I was like, yo, like, I'm, I'm new to this game, somebody want to show me around, kind of teach me about the sim a bit. 
and one of the devs hopped on and fucking helped me out. Nice. Yeah, I had no idea he was a dev because I was geeking out about the lighting in this game because the lighting in Run 8 is fucking ungodly amazing. Mm -hmm. It is insane. Like, you can actually illuminate a mile and a half ahead of you and see it fucking clearly before the light even drops off. It's awesome. Anyways, I'm geeking out about it. I was like, dude, I wish other games would kind of follow this lead. Like, this is awesome. And he comes up and he says, I hope not. we got to make our money somehow. And I'm like, hold the fuck up. You said we? <laughs> He's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. This is awesome. <laughs> it's like Wags coming up and helping us with the Hornet or something. <laughs> You know, it's fucking sick. Well, nine it's line. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 basically. But, like, it's fucking awesome, dude. And so he showed me how to run the hub yard and uh, let me introduce me to his server. And so I've been doing a lot of the hub yard services. Nice. Yeah. And it's a dedicated server, so like the server's running 24-7. So I'm actually building these trains. This one dude brought this train up to Barstow from LA, which is like 300 miles away. And he dropped it off here in Barstow. And I am now breaking it into four trains that now have to go to four separate locations. And then other less players- Less power, less power. Oh, I'm trying to come off the power, yeah. This is where I struggle, trying to get this bloody Victor thing in. Hang on. Speed brakes. Uh, thank you. There you go. There you go. Should be on speed right now. Yep. There you go. So now trim so you're not having to hold the stick back so much. Yeah, no stick back at the and moment. And now just use power for pitch. Got it, yeah. There you yeah, go. And add a bit of power in anticipation for any turns. they all stop I have to make sure they stop and I have to fill out the yard sheet and then I'll be good to go. It's actually a yard sheet you have to fill out? For an online server, yeah. <laughs> cool. This is this game is as realistic as it fucking gets. Like it is fucking awesome. And it's it's the map is huge. Huge. It's like all of Southern California and Western Arizona. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And it's funny, because I thought it was just a train sim, like, and it kind of is just a train sim, but 90% of the player base of Run 8 are real-life conductors. Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't know that until I started playing here on um, Highball. <laughs> it's fucking sick. It's really cool. This game is awesome. And I figured out why um, you have to do, when you were looking into it, you have to do a, the Windows thing. Mm -hmm. Because this game, the first version that this game was built on, came out in 2006. Uh -huh. And then it's just been updated over time. So it's, it's no issue to your computer. It's just because your computer's like, you know, this is old as fuck. Are you sure you want to do this? Kind of thing, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, and it's, and it's oh yeah, I, yeah. There, but except run, runway left, right? Runway right. Run, run, right. Next exit. Right. Oh. You smoke a steel, by the way. Steel, no. Stop that. <laughs> that was in a very, very nice landing. My arm is very sore. <laughs> Were you holding pitch that entire time? No, no, zero pitch. Okay, good. It was just throttle, throttle up, throttle. Ah, throttle right. Up. Left arm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, wait, where am I parking? Uh, to the right. To the right. Oh gosh, I've smoked the runway out. Sorry about that. Yep. <laughs> how did you? How did you even see anything? Because <laughs> I was off to the right. I wasn't directly behind you. Okay. Are you down? I can't see you anywhere. I'm right behind you. 
Ah, I see you. All right. <laughs> Can I move into the middle or? Yeah, go for it. Do whatever you like. I want to turn off the Jesus beams. Jesus beams. Anywhere on the safe friend, yeah? Yep. Okay, turning left. So, Very nice. Nice. Where the fuck did these so I can break have... set. I can break set. Do you put your flaps up now, or do you just leave them wherever you had them? I pull them back up to half. Okay, up to half. Moving myself. Oh my gosh, sorry about that mess I made in the runway, that's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no. We're weaponing up again, or is that. Um. We're waiting for Rose. I'm I'm filling out this form and I'll be right there. On yeah. S5. So uh, take whatever weapons you want uh, and we'll try to blow up Raz. So right. no, okay. I have a, I actually before we do this, yeah. mm -hmm. you want to walk since Santa's on a roll right now. Mm. You want to walk him through laser guided stuff. Nice. You want to do laser guided? You can give it a shot. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. So as long as it's still recording. <laughs> I will I will hop on. And I will act as a uh, uh, fat gay. Okay. Well, that's good because the Hornet cannot take smoke rockets. Yeah, it used to, but it can't now. That fucking sucks. Hello. Hey. BNSF. Or another voice. Hey, it's me. What up, Coop? Nothing uh, much. SF. Seven niner niner. BNSF. Right, you're gonna have to tell me what to put on you. Okay. So uh, you're looking for GBU twelve, five hundred pound bombs. Can I can I place these practice bombs? Because they're Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, GBU twelve. So they come in single and double racks. So I'm going to go the uh, BR-33 with two times GBU-12 yep. laser guided bombs, yep. Uh, on that side, and we'll get rid of these play play ones. Alright. And then everything else the same. Um, Alright. You, you can take all uh, GBU-12s if you like. Uh, okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Don't threaten me, Cooper. Oh, shit. Request refueling. And what was it? The cheeks or something? Request Copy. rearming. Well, is it worth putting anything Copy. there? Uh, uh, that, not yeah. for now. Uh, okay. Oh. So that's four, four <laughs> laser guided bombs. Uh, eight, eight bombs, is that right? Yep. Cool. I'm going to stick with my red smoke because it's pretty cool. Okay. Probably going to put more fuel in. Yep. I was at uh, just over a thousand pounds when we landed. Uh, one nine nine zero. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. On that. Done. Launching DCS. Dude, I haven't launched DCS in like a week. My hind is probably expired. It has. 
Just giving some air here. <laughs> Pip time. Yeah, no, there's only one aircraft that I'm really desperate for, and I really think that it's coming secretly and it's being treated. Mm -hmm. My, uh, my dyslexic ass has been trying to reread Flight of the Intruder. <laughs> and I remember why I am absolutely infatuated with this character. I think that Rafale thing would be quite fun. Mm. Okay, the Rafale is my favorite aircraft of all time. Yeah. And it is never coming to DCS. Okay. It's too new. It's still in service. No, not even... No, it's not even that, dude. It's too advanced, bro. The Rafale has beaten Raptor for the past, like, 12 years at the fucking red flag. <laughs> In both BVR, which is, like, what the Raptor is supposed to excel at, and BFM. The Rafale is just fucking stupid, dude. It is probably, in my opinion, and it might be a little biased, but, like, in my opinion, the Rafale is the most capable advanced aircraft in fucking DCS. That'd be cool. It is, or not DCS, but in, mm. in on the planet. Yep. Okay, for some reason my thing didn't load anything and it reset back to everything, so, sorry. No, 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 no. Oh. Refueling. Oh, okay. Yeah. So cancel that and just wait. Yep. So, check your fuel counter, it should be ticking up. Oh, yeah. takes a while to pump in 10,000 pounds of gas. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> and the magical ground crew can find a way to do it in like, how much time? About three animate. minutes. Yeah. Three minutes? Is that? They should animate the little dude so you can see I something I wish they it. would. Yeah. They've done it on the aircraft carrier. Yeah. It would be so awesome if, um, if they uh, animated the plane captain giving you your uh, taxi Oh, uh, instructions yeah. as you as you leave, yeah. and if they put in an Easter egg where like one in a thousand, instead of doing the normal hand signals, he just does a little dance like they sometimes do in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got your hook down, eh? What? You've got your hook down. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, oopsies. Okay. Oh. So, changing my hook position changes my right screen brightness for some reason. Uh oh. Double bind. I don't know why. That sounds terrible. I'm really high right now. Holy shit. It's not bound to anything other than hook. Um. Santa, huh. drop yep. your hook for me, and check your right screen. Okay, I'm just looking for the hook button. Uh, the big handle. lever on your right vertical panel. That looks right. like a rail oh. hook. Refueling complete. Yep. Did your right screen, screen go dark? No change. It's no. currently on day. Did the image go dark though? No, it's not changing at all. All right, now scroll the brightness knob up. Um, Bottom left. Little screen's nice uh, and bright. It's on full bright already, yep. Yep. And do the hook thing again. No change. What the hell? Must be something weird with my. Rearming complete. Yeah, okay. So flicking the hook in the cockpit does nothing. But. What's your hook button? Um, I'm using the hook lever on the wing wing panel. Okay. That is weird. And let me see. I've got some weird looking missile bomb thing on my wing. Oh, a whole lot of them. Nice. Yep. So those are the exact same weapons that we were just dropping, just with a laser guidance kit on them. Nice. So that nose seeks the laser, and then the fins on the back actuate to track the laser. Okay. Nice. 
The best thing about this is you are guaranteed a hit so long as you can work the laser properly from mm. any altitude. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got realm incomplete. Awesome. Is there anything we can set up in the meantime, or yep. just wait? Okay. Just uh, give me a second. Just having a chalky. Yep. Yeah, let's see, I've got B2LG. Is it B2LG? Yeah. 8-2LG. 8, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to make make these things clear. All right. <laughs> yeah, so um, so that's a Mark 82 laser guided, is what right. that means. So, if we box that up, so it's, uh, initial setup is exactly the same as um, the, uh, dumb bombs so we set our mode to whatever um, laser guided and smart weapons generally get dropped from auto but you can drop them from CCIP just fine okay in CCIP. fact uh, we might start with that if you're okay with that Raz so if you can lob a smoke at something oh, we'll drop on the smoke and then you can laser it oh I'm in a jet oh okay I mean I, I can have a little tank though Pilot, point out which tank he's in. Yeah. Okay. So once once uh once we teach you these, then we'll play Hunt the Raz. Nice. I like it. Yeah. And you've got labels on, so you, yeah, you can't hide. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no labels. They are no longer fun. Like black dogs. It seems to go a bit darker. Oh. Very yeah. nice. So I don't know what setting that is, but no, I don't see any labels. It just things become little, like bigger dark marks at oh, a distance. Okay. Very nice. I probably need to uh, increase some of my settings because I could not see those trucks you were shooting at. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I don't think it's cheating. I think it's just helping out with the yeah with VR because it's just not clear enough. Yeah, exactly. Um. So yeah. Um, also, you'll notice um, you don't have an M fuse option with these weapons. Correct. Yeah. So that's because the guidance kit takes the place of the mechanical fuses. Okay. So. Um, so yeah, we only have an electronic fuse, and since we're going after armor, we'll set it to delay one. Delay one. Yep. So this will delay the bomb from exploding until uh, a fraction of a second after it hits the target okay. so that it will kinetically punch into the tank and then blow up right. basically pop it like a grape nice yes Enjoy. and then uh, one last thing to get these bombs to work is down on the bottom left you see code code so if you box that then the UFC <laughs> wakes up with code Yep. So if you press the button to the left of that, so you get the little colon. Done. And now we can punch in whatever laser code we want. By default, it's 1688. So you can have pretty much anything. All right. In this going case, on. we're going to be going 1113. Because of course we are, because Raz likes Russian. 1113, enter. No, I like, I like the ability of being able to integrate with the Russian aircraft in this game. Yeah. So you'll see on the stores page, um, yep. The left station is boxed. Yes. With 1113 underneath it. Yes. But the other stations have four X's underneath them. Yep. So, uh, in the step. middle on the right, you'll yep. go step to the next station. Step, yep. And then code, code, and input the code again. Code. Should have taught him the the, the the trick. I don't uh, really know how to get that oh. to work consistently. So, oh, it works every time for me. It's just that before you click the 82LG on your stores page, That's you still right. get the code in the bottom left, and you push it then, and then you enter in the code, and it codes everything at once. Okay. Uh. 
I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work, but it works. All right, all my codes are set. All one 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 three. Awesome. So what's that basically? The the same. So you're gonna lay something, and it's looking for yeah something coming back with some sort of vibration of one 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 three. Yeah. So um, you can sort of uh, think of it as um, if someone's standing on top of a hill with a flashlight, you now flashing yep. out um like a Morse like SOS. Yep. And like there's other guys on other hilltops flashing like MMS or whatever, yep. or just random noise. Yep. The seeker will only look for the guy flashing SOS. Right. Okay. So out of interest, what stops the baddies from... Because surely they can see something that's being lazed. Uh, a, a, lot lot no, a lot of black helicopter shit that we don't need to care about. Right, okay. Yeah. So it's encoded somehow. Yeah. Okay. So... Public domain is the laser code. How it actually works and how it's secured is just like the transponders and the radio encryption. It's Okay. Behind closed doors, you know, people with guns everywhere, we don't yep. need to worry about. Fair enough. If it's, if it's Russians that write this game, it's yeah. probably good. So, me. in the case of, um, you know, Western systems um, targeting Eastern weapons or vice versa, yep. they're simply incompatible. So, it's like, um, you know, trying to get an Apple phone to talk to an Android phone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, Raz, are you good if we take off? Okay. Yep, sweet. Okay. After you. Right. What do you so call it? The Jesus light or something? Jesus beams. Jesus beams. All right, and we are going off to the right, right? To the left. We'll be the quickest yeah, way to the, the runway. Fair enough. Off we go. So flaps are half. Is there ever a reason to take off with full flaps on this, or that's not going to help much? Uh, you never take off with full flaps. Okay. But if you were a completely clean jet with yep. less than about two thirds fuel, then yep. you, you could easily take off with no flaps. Okay. I think I might, might have done that by mistake a few times. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> um, also, you're a very heavy jet. So yep. uh, you may want to trim back to uh, about 15 degrees stab. Uh, right now you're going to have to help me find that. So that's menu. Menu again. Checklist. Checklist. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm on 15 at the moment. So Good. that'll do. Back to 12, did you say? Oh, 15. Yeah, right. 15. The heavier you are, the higher the stabs. On a long enough runway, it doesn't really matter. Um, although, if you are extremely heavy and only with 12 degree stabs, you'll probably burst your tires before you take off. No, I see. Um, or you'll have to really reef on the stick. Um, flying off the boat, uh, it is uh, much more important to set the correct stab position. Okay. I'm just going to go to the end there. Eh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the boat, it's imperative. Yeah. Because if you don't set a high enough stab on the boat, you're going to be uh, getting a bit wet. Hmm. These things don't float very well, eh? No, they don't. Uh, okay. It was a hornet that they dropped in the ocean a couple of weeks ago, right? I think so. Yeah, it was a super hornet. Then they went fishing and found it again. Oh. Did the guy get out? Um, it, so, the way I understand it, um, 
it got blown over the side just by the wind. Oh, oh, um, so I don't think there was anyone in it. Okay. Or if there was, they did get out. Yeah. And then, for some reason I haven't quite figured out, they went and fished the thing out. They don't want somebody else grabbing all the stuff off it, eh? It was in two miles of water. Gosh, they really didn't want somebody to get the stuff off it. <laughs> no one was gonna get it! Oh. <laughs> two miles deep of water, I mean. Yeah. Halt here. Yep. So just confirming, so on my left and right engine, uh, when you say up to 85%, that's RPM, which yep. is at 65 right now? Okay, got it. Yep. Alright. Hey Cooper, give me a player. Gotcha. Two set. Eighty percent. Two breaks off. Off the banner. Oh, I'm coming across towards you. Sorry. That's all right. You do you. You're up. Laps up. And I forgot that I was a lot lighter than you, so I took off. No, uh, about a uh, hundred feet earlier. Uh, okay. That's all right. So you can come out of burner now. Uh, Ten degrees climb up to uh, three, uh, four hundred, or is it too fast? Yeah, four hundred's fine. Four hundred. And climbing to about ten thousand. Ten thousand. So, pitch pitch for four hundred. And run my heading all the time. Yeah, we can start a left turn now. Left turn. Technically, legally, um, we fly runway heading until we're uh, 1500 feet and clear of obstacles, and then we can uh, turn on course. Okay. I'm not actually sure what on course is going to be, so I'm just looking for something familiar like water. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the target area is at uh, about a seven o'clock at this point. Right. Fly around here Le enough, and you tend to uh, Le leveling out. Yep. And throttling back for to try and keep 400. Oh no, I'm slowing down. Remember your uh, auto throttle button? Oh yeah. Hang on a second. Let me find that. Uh, Left pinky. Let me get, okay, I've dropped, I'm at 390, just trying to get up to 400. Mm-hmm. And there's 400. So, uh, straighten off? No? No, so we keep going, uh, it's uh, to the uh, south of us. Let's go to the targets. Okay, at 9 o'clock now. Mm, yes, just off the wing. Is it the cross runway? Yes. Okay. I have a flashing B in next to my altitude. So that's just telling you that uh, the altimeter is showing you barometric altitude, but you yep. have set radar altitude. Okay. Do you know where that switch is? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I want, right? We'll stick with radar for now. So when it's Flashing B, it means you're too high for the radar altimeter to work, uh, so it's reverted it. to barometric. Okay. And you get the flashing B to let you know that the switch is in the wrong position. Okay. For the current, um, current altimeter use. We're just going to go up the coast, or directly to the, the cross runway. Yeah, up the coast will be fine. Those tanks are still burning. Yeah, we made a mess of them. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Let me do that. <laughs> Very nice. Just trying to make it easier for you to see me. <laughs> I mean, I'm right on your ass, but yeah. All right. Just leveling out so to get to the coast, and then I'll uh, fly over the coast. 
copy that. annoying that uh, Edigram Master Mode brings up the Edigram Radar and not the T-Pod. Left. Okay, so at the moment I'm just going to be flying past, right? Yep. Because we haven't... Okay. We haven't received any orders from the FAC-A. Okay. Leveling. Yeah. Checked in with any... Well, we haven't received confirmation that there's a fat guy on station. <laughs> or you took off. <laughs> Radio frequency should have already been pre beefed pre briefed. <laughs> Stand by, because now there isn't a fat guy on station. <laughs> and I'm not even a fat guy now. I'm a JTAC. If I was in a Hornet, I'd be a fat guy. Yeah. A lot more black dots down there. Yeah, yeah. Res uh, spawned every single armor group there is. Nice. Prepare to perish. <laughs> well, if uh, the earlier um, uh, destruction was anything to go by, just one yeah. bomb in the middle of all of those will take them all out. Nice. Yes, yes. I see the question. Ah, fuck it, on st or J tag on station. <laughs> All there, got check in. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to check in, but I'm checking in. <laughs> so you check in with your call sign, your aircraft okay. type, what weapons you have and how many, and your fuel state or your play time. Whoa. So in this case, um, J tag oh, Raz. Bolo 13 checking in type Hornets with two times GBU 12s, 600 cannon, and uh, Rolex plus 4.5 playtime. Copy Bolo 13, um, cleared hold Alpha Block 10. Alpha Block 10, Bolo 13. Okay, you're gonna have to take the lead because I'm not sure. Yeah. Crossing so behind your tail now. Uh, Scarlet, <laughs> Scarlet could also say holding hands with you if you guys have the exact same kits, and I can just write down two times F-18s. Excellent. So like if you're in a flight, Scarlet could check in and say, Bolo 13 two times F-18s, and then says your flight number, which in this case would be Bolo 14. Right. And then now I know that there's two aircraft with the exact same kit. Okay. Except we don't have the exact same kit, so. No, I know. I've, I've used this for example. But yeah. But I do. In my case, I'm being lenient because I know I can. So, Sona, if you come and turn uh, turn north with me. Turning north. Uh... Cooper, are you checking in? Oh, nope, I don't think Cooper's here. Talk is very weird right now. Gotcha. Right, B rap Discord. Okay, so I'm coming off auto throttle obviously because I need to catch up to you quite far up ahead of me there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I checked in. I d I'm in a Viper with uh, two GBU 12s and 510 gun. Copy, Cooper. Uh, hold point Bravo, block 15. Scholar, do you north? Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, damn, you guys way over flew, huh? <laughs> yeah. Am I still swinging on my smoke? No, I'm not. Get some smoke out there. <laughs> I should have taken some smoke. 
Bolo, one, two, one, three, one, four. Be advised, friendlies and BMP. Oh. Visuals similar to hostile vehicles. One, three. By the way, that 3D printed afterburner thing is way better. Yeah, I know, right? Pretty cool, yeah. See your lights. Scarlet speed? 410. 410. Advise when ready station. Push that button. <laughs> He's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna type it in chat. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Cooper, be advised. IP point Bravo. Um, inbound two seven zero west, ten miles from target. Target at. Uh, stand by. Target at three four feet ASL. Target is. One times T, one times BTR eighty. Um, at grid four one five zero two zero north four one four seven three seven east. Target will be marked by IR marker red smoke. Eager at friendlies currently. 513 meters northeast of target. Egress on attack, south 180. Copy inbound. Code 1113. Yeah, I'm only hearing one voice. Is he typing? Yeah, he's, yeah, typing. he's typing. You can't oh, be okay. fucked yeah. with voice to talk. Oh, <laughs> right. Lazing. Copy, weapons release. Copy. Bug run. Egress to south, advise when back on station. What's meant by back on station? Back on the holding um, point where we are at currently. Uh, okay, yeah. So, Scarlet, if I give um, Santa run in, you do the run in and just have Santa follow on your wing. We won't okay. walk him through um, keyhole. keyhole nine lines. Off the bat. <laughs> Sounds good. Advise without station, you guys. Yep. Uh, I think I've uh, slightly overshot, but 
That's fine. They're just no yep. closer than dead. On station. Copy. Bolo, one, two. Requesting, in, uh, requesting inbounds. IP, point alpha, 10,000. Direction to target, one, eight, zero. For 10 miles, target at 35 feet ASL. Target is one times BTR at four one five zero two zero north by four one four seven three seven east. Uh, read back, uh, grid. Four one five zero two zero north yep. by four one four seven three seven east copy target will be marked by IR laser red smoke friendlies approximately 513 meters northeast from target egress one eight or no egress two seven zero west. Copy. Read back when ready. And just read off important shit. I don't need yeah. all of that back. Initial point inbound heading one eight zero target type MBT marked by laser one 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 three egress west. Copy. Uh, Santa, where are you? I'm behind you, following you. Okay, good. Technically, I would have said uh, copy request one times GBU 12 laser code 1113, and then you'd have read that back. Okay. And then I would have put restrictions. But we don't have restrictions, so. Sorry. I was uh, punching coordinates and working my other systems. No, you're good. All you really need to read back to me is line 4, which is um, elevation, line 5, target type and um, um, egress. Well, you remark inbound, target elevation, target type, and egress. Yeah. I also don't have my kneeboard on right now, so I couldn't write any of that shit down. No, you're good. That's why I'm just reading that off, just a quick thing, just, you know, out, like, uh, yeah. height, type, um, inbound, outbound. Yeah. So, oh Santa, now, do you yep. have your uh, weapons all set up, ready to go? Uh, I believe so, so... Yeah, the weapon's ready, and I've got my line yep. CCIP selected. Yep. Cool. And I just got a Oculus low battery warning. Ah, uh, wonderful. <laughs> so, follow 1-3, hold the hands with 1-4, inbound. Copy, follow 1-4, pressing, or follow 1-3, requesting one times GBU-12 on target. Laser one six eight eight. Uh, one no one one threats. three. You mean? Oh yeah, one three. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Uh, no threats to you at this time. No hazards to you. Cloud layer one thousand two hundred or twelve thousand feet. I believe I could be wrong on that. Yeah, you. Crap, correct. That's about right. Um, advise when ready. Remarks or advise when ready. Restrictions. Copy. Ready restrictions. And I got one of my own. Uh, this will be a. CCIP delivery. Copy. Final attack heading 180. That's really it for restrictions. Copy. 180. And Santa, you're still following? Yep. Cool. Advise when ready, Sparkle. Copy that. So we should be on a 180? So now uh, that's the uh, the final heading that he wants. Yep. So I'm stepping us off to the side so that we can uh, be on 180 as we're diving in. All right. So it's uh, off to the left, and then I'll cut back to the right, and then we'll roll in. Okay. So all this yep. all this keyhole shit that he just did is yeah. um, setting up for ideally a uh, auto release. So Level. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just really asking you, in a sense, put bomb here, please. Yeah. <laughs> Type 2, TAS, 
which is uh, where I can't see you or the bomb, um, is complete pilot discretion, and that's all we can do in DCS, because unless you're attacking in a specific direction where I can see you in my viewfinder, which most of the time isn't possible, because that means you're flying over enemy lines. Um, Bolo 1-3, your crest sparkle. Copy, Bolo 1-3, sparkle. Capture. Anyways, uh, type 2 means I can't see you or the bomb, so just don't kill me, your discretion. So I'm not Copy. seeing anything on my screen, is that right? Yep, that's okay. Okay. Copy, Bolo 1 2. Bolo 1 3, 1 4, rolling in. Make things easier. I'm not going to give you grid coordinates. Y'all know Point Echo is Altitude. exactly that X runway. Altitude. Paveway. Off west. Ooh, that sounds nice. Ooh. Shit. Good effects on target. 10 over 10. Advise when ready on station. Copy will advise. I always forget Polo. my flare program until after I've dropped the bombs. Uh, Polo, one, two, advise when ready, nine, nine. So did you get weapons away, Santa? I did not, nothing came up on the screen. Have I got something wrong here? So, um, you've got your bomb full line for CCIP? I, I do. Yeah. So, um, so you're basically just dropping it on a point, and then the weapon will guide itself to wherever the laser is pointing. Okay, so I should see nothing on my screen. I should just fly towards the center of the runway crossing? Yeah, so um, I'll get um, the target location on my FLIR, and I'll yep. tell you where it is this next time around. Okay. So, um, basically, they'll be at the end of one of the runways, and I'll basically just tell you which runway to aim for. Okay, so I don't need to get the cross on it or anything, or do I? So, so you'll, um, so you'll drop CCIP n near about the end of the runway where the targets are, and then the bomb will guide itself to Rats's laser. Okay. A speed? Uh, 360 increasing to 400. in the box. Follow one three not ready. one four on station. Copy. Not ready yet, Coop. That was just lines one through four. I'm gonna speak the rest. Come in now, if that works. <laughs> target is marked, target is laced. Alright, uh, Bolo 1 3, Bolo 1 4, advise when ready 9 line. Ready 9 line, 1 3. Copy, I'm gonna read you off your 9 line. I do not turn in until I give you clear inbound. Copy. Copy. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this while guiding in Cooper. <laughs> okay. Bolo one three, Bolo one four, IP point alpha, inbound one eight zero south. Uh, 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 by one eight zero south for ten nautical miles. Target at thirty four feet. 
ASL target is T55 or T80U. Um, target will be marked by IR laser, red smoke. Friendly is approximately 400 meters south of target. Egress 270 feet wet. Read back 4 and 6. Advise when ready remarks. Inbound point alpha 180, target type T84U, uh, marked by red smoke and laser, egress west. Ready remarks. I'll be good, read back. Requesting one times GBU 12, code 1113. Final attack heading 180. Two times GBU 12. 1113, final attack heading 180. Copy, good read back. Stand by, ready about. Ready and down. Got it, but okay. Stand by and I'll get you ready, is what I meant to say. Copy. How you doing, Coop? Laser's going. You will the airspace. You following good, Santa? I'm following, yep. Awesome. So on, on this time round, uh, we'll get a uh, red smoke marker on the okay. targets, so uh, basically just bomb the red smoke. Okay, so the drop line over the over the red smoke? Yep, drop cross and on the red smoke and then pull off to the west. Colo okay. 1, 2, expedite release. So we still need to wait for the cross the line to come back up onto yep. the... Onto, okay, got it now, alright. Yep. So what's the difference between laser guided and why and CCRP without laser? So um, with the laser, um, whatever's designating for you, be it yourself or someone else in this case, um, they point the laser onto the exact target they want to hit, yep. and the bomb will guide exactly to that target. Whereas um, unguided bombs, like we were doing before, are only as good as the system and your flying are. See, okay. Um, and also, um, unguided are affected by wind. Guided weapons can uh, ignore the wind or take care of the wind to a point. Got it. Right. Copy, Polo 1 2, advise when Dingo fuel. So, unguided bombs, like we were doing before, is sort of like um, most of Vietnam, where you would drop a bunch in a single pass and hope you hit the thing. Yep. Guided weapons, you drop one at a time on a specific target. So, like, you could hit a mosque between two, or rather, a um, you could hit a stronghold oh, between a mosque and a hospital. Right. Okay. Yeah. Polo one, two, polo one, three, polo one, four. Uh, request uh, state and playtime. One three state seven seven, playtime Rolex plus thirty. Copy, group, you're clear. I'm still lazing for you. We're just orbiting at the moment, right? Yep. So Cooper's uh, doing his thing right now, so we're just holding roughly uh, 15 miles north of the target area as we were instructed. Yep. And then Raz will clear us inbound and then we'll turn in. Yeah, how do you know you're 15 miles north? So I've it's got a uh, target point set up in the middle of the runway. Right, okay. So we're currently 13.6 miles. Copy, Bolo, one, two, up and away. Copy, bug run. Polo 1 2, understood Winchester, clear RTB. Polo 1 3, 1 4, clear inbound. Got the clear inbound. No 
Sounds like you're eating a Mars bar at 11,000 feet. Mm Yeah, That's right, we've still got turn, about 90 degrees of turn to go. Very low. How on earth do you see him? Dead link. Oh, uh, okay. He's landing right now. Ah. <laughs> you need like, to be low for that. <laughs> when, I was wondering if he was doing a gun run or something. Oh. Tanaki? No. Kobaletti. Kobaletti. Runway 07. Six or seven? Zero seven. Bolo one three, request Bolo one three. Capture. There's going to be one dead tank in about two minutes. If I f remember to press my button. Yeah. Is push to talk working now? There we go. Yeah, I heard that time. Okay, finally. Um, Scarlet, uh, you, how about you don't release this pass, let's see if just Santa can hit a target. Okay. So, I'll still run in, I just won't drop anything. Yeah, yeah, Santa will just keep flying off your wing, but you, yeah, hold your weapon. Yep. Maybe you were weren't uh, on the right code, Coop. Well, one three, one four, rolling in. One 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 three, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had that stuff from what my bombs were looking for. Huh. I don't know why they kept going short then. Once no, you start holding down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you don't hold it. You just press it once uh, the cross is on the target, and you should see the red I smoke. I got a song right now. Yep. Yep. So just hit the red smoke. Hey, something's shooting at Altitude. us. Altitude. Yes, it Altitude. is. Yep. yep, that's my flares. Okay. And call Paveway when the bomb comes off. On the way. Paveway 1. Oh, Dang! Good effects. 10 over 10. Target is destroyed. Yeah! Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, I've lost sight of you, Scarlet. I'm off west, 10,000. Off west, turning to. Oh, got you, got you. I like the smoke down there. You got two in collateral with that. Nice. Did my flares come off then? 
I didn't see. Alright, Bolo Flight 1, advise one ready, or advise one back on station. I mean, if you want us to hit the smoke now, we can just roll in now. Yeah, sure. We're going. Now I'll uh, give Raz a chance to lob a new smoke. We're good. Request immediate reruns. Okay, we're in. Following you, same story. Yep, yeah, I'm assuming we're hitting the red smoke. Copy. The speed scholar? Uh, 500 increasing. Okay. Reruns is the same tasks. Usually you'd fly back out and come back in and egress and all that, you'd redo the nine line, but yeah. emergency reruns would be just put another bomb right there as soon as you fucking can, I don't care kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Bolo, one three, rolling in. Red smoke. With expedite 20 release. Mic, mic. Bolo, one three, expedite release. <laughs> Target is one times BMP three. Copy beam P3. Altitude. No, I'm following Altitude. a bloody AWACS. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, I'm miles off. Guns, guns. That's good. Oh, Full of them, two on station, type Viper. Four times GBU 12s, 510 gun. Eight. Copy, Bolo 1 2. Um, hold points. Bravo at 10,000. Can I continue my run? I'm, I'm out at sea though. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. yeah. And for now, I'm not going to see anything, so I'm seeing a whole lot of black smoke. I'm just going to use that. Yep. Got it. Requesting right. reruns. Right. Now, I'll so let Santa take this one. He's uh, 10 miles out. Requesting immediate reruns. 20 mic mic. Copy. Reruns. 20 mic mic. Cut in front of you, Santa. Second. Oh, it didn't run. Yeah. Yeah. So my drop line is going to be on the black smoke, right? Yeah. So remember your CCIP, not auto. Yep. Bolo one three, advise him. Uh, 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 give inbound direction. Altitude. Uh, zero nine five. Zero nine five. Copy. Expedite inbound. Guns, 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 guns. Bolo one four turning in. Copy. Bolo one four. You're clear to engage. Requesting one times GBU twelve. Code one 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 three. Same remarks. He's in. Release. Paveway is the call. Paveway, sorry. Yeah. yeah boom. Back, go to Bex, 10 over 10. Target is destroyed. Nice. Is our fuel reading in tons? 2610 to 2590? Pounds. <laughs> oh, pounds, okay. I've got 2500 pounds left. That's okay. No problems. Just, uh,. Don't use afterburner, then you should be good. Alright. Oh, one, three, one, four. Advise when back on stage. Well, one, three, on station. One times GPU 12 and 200 cannon. Yeah, and you're already 10 miles north. I mean, I'm available for tasking, but no, not 10 miles north. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm gonna get Cooper in once because he should yeah. be on station soon. Alright. I'm on station, ready for tasking. Alright, so, uh, Santa, if you just level off and head north, I'll uh, pass you in, we can uh, join up. Head north. Cooper, IP, Point Bravo, 10,000. Heading 270 for 10, 
target is at three two feet ASL. Target is one times T eighty U. Target will be marked by orange smoke IR laser friendlies approximately five hundred meters north of target. Egress one eight zero south. Read back when ready. If or read back Comp. advice when ready remarks. Ready remarks. Where's the readback? Yeah, what? <laughs> Ingress 270, target uh, 32 feet, egress to the south. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I kind of zoned out at the actual location of the target. I just know I ingress from the west. Yeah, you got to tell me which way you're coming from, what it is, um, what it's marked by, and where you're leaving to. Marked by orange smoke. Egress south. Copy. Remarks. Requesting one times GBU 12, code 1113. Final attack heading 270. Copy. Starting my run. Sandra, I'm passing up your right side now. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to continue to follow. Yep. Okay. And I'm holding 430 knots. 430. Dang it, the bomb didn't even drop this time. One and sec. we'll climb back up to 10,000. Bugging out, so. 10,000. Bolo, one two, bug run. Advise one back on station. Bolo, one three on station. Copy. Bolo, one three. Inbound IP point Alpha. Angels ten four ten. Target is at three two feet ASL. Target is one times T eighty U. Marked by orange smoke, IR laser, friendly is approximately 500 meters north of target, egress 270 west. Read back, advise and bread remarks. Target elevation 32 feet, type T84U, marked by orange smoke and laser, egress west. Ready remarks. Copy, requesting one times GBU 12, code 1113. Final attack heading 180. One times GB 12, 1113, 180. Copy. You're cleared inbound. Inbound. Busted the altitude, but that's okay. I should be saying block 10, so you can be anywhere from 10 to 11. Bolo 1-2 on station. Copy. Bolo 1-2, stand by. Bolo 1-2, advise when ready 9 line. Ready 9 line. Copy. Bolo 1-2, IP, Bravo, block 10. For 270, target is at, uh, motherfucker, target is at 37 feet, target is one times DMP3, target will be marked by green and green smoke and IR laser, friendly is approximately 500 meters south of target, egress 180 south. Back on right. Ingress 270, target at 32 feet, one times BMP, marked by green smoke, egressing to the south. Copy, read back, correct. Requesting one times GBU 12, 
final attack heading 270. Bolo 13, no Stand joy, orange smoke. Uh, Bolo 13, stand by. And Bolo 13, request sparkle. Smoke out, sparkle. Bolo 12, do not turn in till cleared inbound. Copy that. Sparkle, smoke is out. Yeah, I don't Tally have the smoke. Orange smoke. Gotcha. I don't do the smoke until you request sparkle. Oh, shit, I'm about to fly past you, Scott. Uh, Scott, it's sorry. That's okay. Altitude. Altitude. Phoenix. What was it? Phoenix. Oh, shit. What was it? <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Hey, wait. That's it. He's very dead. Stacks, good effects, 10 over 10. Target is destroyed. Bolo 1 2, cleared inbound. Copy, turn in. Bolo 1 3, 1 4, advise 1 on station. Uh, 1 3 is Winchester. I think uh, 1 4 has got some weapons left. 1 4, uh, yes. Copy. So. B. Alright, I'm just gonna start calling. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, bingo fuel. 980. Oh. Can I come in early or not? Uh, 980? Yep. Uh, go land. Go land. Yeah, uh, Indic. Bolo 14, emergency landing. Cobaletti. Understood. Yeah, 2,000 pounds is when you want to start thinking about going home. Bolo 12, inbound, release in 15 seconds. Copy. So you'd say, uh, ready, sparkle. And then I come back and ready, sparkle. Spark. So that means now my laser's hot and the smoke is out. Can I block some 20 mic mic near you, Rez? Here, just a sec. Let me get into a better cinematic view for Daiutu. That and Bolo 1 3 is in. Hey, boy. Altitude. Altitude. I think I just took a hit. Start again. And now you can put some twenty mic mic near me, Scarlet. Okay. So let me know which direction you're attacking from. Uh, directly above. From the north. I see you. Altitude. Altitude. Hello, one two requesting tasking with gun. Bombs are not cooperating with me today. Yeah, JTAC's off station now. Winchester now, so I'm just gonna gun run something here. These bombs did not like cooperating with me today. In this. No, they really didn't. I had a waypoint set up and everything, it still dropped pretty dang short. Alright, so we're gonna play a game of Hunt the Raz, yes? Uh, my ass is getting None. sore, so I'm gonna get off. Sorry. Okay, that's good. That was fun though, and uh, Santa, how'd you find it? Santa? I think he's concentrating. Uh -oh. Or his PTT came off. Is that better? There we go. Oh wow, I pressed something that switched off my push to talk. So I'm just trying to land, but that was, yeah, that was awesome fun.